Properties of Multiplication What is a property? In math, a property is a characteristic that's always true. You can think of it sort of like a rule. There are five properties of multiplication. Do you know any of them? The five properties of multiplication are the zero property, the identity property, the commutative property, the associative property, and the distributive property. The zero property of multiplication says that any number times zero always equals zero. So for example, five times zero equals zero, 100 times zero equals zero, 45,938 times zero equals zero. It doesn't matter what the other number is, it will always equal zero. The zero property is easy to remember because it's all about, well, zero. The identity property says any number times one always equals itself. For example, five times one equals five. 100 times one equals 100. 45,938 times one equals 45,938. Your identity is who you are. The identity property says that a number keeps its own identity when multiplied by one. It doesn't change into a new number. The commutative property of multiplication says, numbers can be multiplied in any order and the answer will not change. For example, five times four equals 20 and four times five equals 20. Five times four and four times five are the same thing. And that's because of the commutative property. This one also works for addition. Commute means to travel or move. Many people commute to and from work every day. That means they have to drive a ways to get to work. The commutative property says that you can move or rearrange the numbers without changing the answer. The associative property of multiplication says you can change the order that you multiply the numbers in and the answer will not change. Let's take a look at an example. 5 times 4 times 2. I'm multiplying three different numbers here. The parentheses tell me what to do first. So first, I'm going to multiply 5 times 4. That's 20. Then I'll multiply it by 2, and that equals 40. Or I could multiply 4 times 2 first. The parentheses around the 4 times 2 tell me to do that part first. 4 times 2 is 8, and then I can multiply by 5, and the answer is still 40. The answer did not change. To associate with someone means to spend time or work with them, sort of like being in a group with someone. 5 and 4 are grouped together in this problem. That's why they have the parentheses around them. They are associated. In this one, the four and the two are grouped together. They are associated. The associative property says that you can group numbers differently in a multiplication equation without changing the answer. The distributive property of multiplication says you can break apart a number, multiply the pieces, and then add them back together. Let's look at this. Let's use five times four. I'm gonna break the four apart into two plus two. And then I'm gonna multiply each of those pieces by five. And then I'm gonna add it all back together. To distribute means to give out pieces of something. If you distribute this chocolate bar to two people, you would need to break it. The distributive property says that you can break apart a number without changing the answer to a multiplication equation. Let's review. The zero property says that any number times zero equals zero. The identity property says that any number times one stays the same, it keeps its identity. The commutative property says that you can move the numbers around without changing the answer. That's what commute means, to move or travel. 
The associative property says you can change the order you multiply in or how you group the numbers. And the distributive property says you can break apart a number, multiply the pieces, and then add them back together. This video was created by LaFontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the video description for lesson materials that go along with this video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.